goodness. It's like they made it like a chicane. Like a, oh, oh, wow. Zoe. Look at that. Overcooks it. Burns oh, the meatball. Wow. Forgot. Got the wrong Google Maps direction. <laughs> In 10 feet. Take a left. <laughs> Look at Cletus out there just airing out that stadium super truck okay. out there. Love it. Weird flex. But this gentleman, again, I always talk about Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. It's kind of a, you know, Freedomer factory as we talk about. But uh, Cletus, I think he's got something to prove after yesterday. For sure. Mad Max kind of got to the back of him, and they kind of made a little alliance uh, towards the end of the night. And Did they? That's what they said. No. Let's be honest. That kid had the fastest qualifying lap yesterday. The kid can drive. He did. No. So, Matt, Matt Max is an absolute talent, a weapon. Here we go. So Cletus McFarland leads the pack. Let's take a look. Who is there in second? We've got our spotters guide. The fun haver, RT. Holy banana cakes. Do you <laughs> see how they. See the air and the drop? See how they made it's like a bus stop or chicane where they come out of that turn, th uh, turn four, it dips down, comes out in the straight, and that's where they added that new ramp. Definitely going to make for it. Oh, look at that right there. Diesel brothers getting into each other. Oh, there's your boy. Hot Demolition and heavy Ranch. demo oh, ranch. Yep. And, and uh, looks like that's Diesel Dave Diesel Dave, Dave Sparks, Dave Sparks oh, rolling right together. Match. That's a grudge match. You guys. Oh, gosh. Look at these. Uh oh, kissing, kiss, <laughs> kissing cousins over here. Oh, I love to see it. Look at him just ripping and tearing, flying. And Ben Ben Mayer right there in the Winnebago truck. That's Ben Mayer, 13 years old, 67. Up in the back end business of the 435 of Diesel Dave. And look at that. Wow. Gets inside three wheel motion. No, no rap videos were made in the making <laughs> of this race, but they still are hitting three wheels. For sure. See, here we're talking about right here. This is what they, they changed the track into like a little bus stop or chicane. And it's going to come out to the back straight. They changed it from yesterday to today. For so sure. Absolutely different track. So what you thought you had? Nope. Thought you had that perfect line until you got to drop down to we'll call it a bus stop. Just like call it the bus stop, stop sure. and then we'll hit that uh, new jump that we just put on right there. Cletus McFarland, your leader right now in the stadium super trucks, followed up by the Continental truck. I believe that's Stout. That is Robert Stout there in second, there Max Gordon in third. So Max going for it. But again, we will have five laps and then we will re rack them to just punch up the group. I, I, I really like that format because it's like, hey, you think you might get the clean air. You're out front feeling confident. We saw that yesterday with Bill Hines, who ended up coming in second behind Gavin Harlan, yeah. who Gar Gavin Harlan is currently leading the 2022 Stadium Super. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. Contact. Oh, oh, that's where he got it. Mad Max yesterday. <laughs> look at Max going for the pass. Unbelievable. Cletus taking a little heavy right there going to that turn. Oh, look oh, at him battling. Here we go. Cletus looks like he's going to be battling for first place coming across this jump. Robert Stout is giving him the beans. Here we go. The fun haver is who's having more fun right now. Everybody, everybody when Stout takes that tighter line. Woo! Look at Cleeter opens it up on that front straight. My land, Cletus out there. Got to be driving through that front window, brother. Keep it going. Don't be looking in the rear. Oh, Contact. Stout gets into the side. That back left corner is an absolute target for multiple drivers, including Mad Max. Again, <laughs> Mad Max Gordon, 14 years old. He's currently in third. He's got the popcorn in his cup holder because he's watching the show. That is Stout and McFarland going for that lead. And he might end up favorably here in this situation because they're going to kind of fight it out, duke it out. They're going to have black eyes, but guess who comes out in spades? Matt Max. Matt Max is back there sitting in a good spot, third position. And like you said, you got Cletus up there just battling it out. That uh, driver's rear tire has been taking damage already. So let's we'll see what will happen. What were you doing when you were 14 years old? Were you driving Stevens and Jones? Definitely not. What Definitely were you doing? Not. Well, like I said, yeah, let's just keep it's a family <laughs> show. It's a family show. So keep on moving. All right. So uh, we are we are going live again. We are seeing Cleeter McFarland. Okay, look at this. So here we are. It looks like is this is this is the mandatory yellow? Yep, yep. We got the mandatory re-rack. So they will stay that order, but we're gonna bunch them up. And I think that's that's the absolute correct thing. I, I, do you like that format? Do you think that do you think that's fair? Do you think that's racing? First, well, this, the deal is be be honest. I, I'm you, not gonna you, say I, I'm not gonna lie to you. You, you know, love you know, saying that's coming. Yeah, click clack. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's, click clack. You Daddy's not lying, and uh, <laughs> we're still in the thing. Whenever you're able to bunch them back up, look at Robbie Gordon out there putting on the okay. show. Okay. When you're able to stack uh, them back up, you're not gonna. You're able to kind of make the field a little bit more competitive because once you have the guys that are in the front, they're just gonna run away with it unless they have a wreck. Lap traffic you don't really have. Um, once you do that, so once you're able to re rack. You're actually able to create a more competitive race. So I enjoy it. I think it's great. Really lets the guys go out there and uh, let it eat, especially if you're towards the back of the pack. 
and you have to re-rack them. So what what went wrong here for Cleeter? Cletus just dropped it down a little bit too oh. hard, heavy on the brakes. <laughs> and uh, you, you'll see, they're they're battling it out. More contact right here. Yeah. Cletus trying to drop it down, doesn't realize he's kind of right there. Stout, Stout was, he was getting aggressive on that lower line, and I think that's the right thing to do. He knew that Cletus has the lead, and these trucks can take a licking and keep on ticking. But at the end of the day, we saw that yesterday. You can see the body damage there. The fun haver gun getting a little, uh, it looks like F.U. haver right now because the end dropped right there. Hey, one, but one, one thing about good. Cletus is he is not afraid to win his own race. He, uh, dude, Robbie Gordon, he's currently in fourth. <laughs> he's going on two wheels. He knows he struts better than anybody except Mad Max. Look at Here right we go. There. Let's go for it again. Lap five of 15. We just finished five. 15 total laps for that checkered flag. Cletus McFarland out front, Robert Stout in second, Mad Max, and Robbie Gordon pops, is bringing up the rear behind his son, who's 14 years old. Cletus McFarland airs it out. You see that drop, the droop of that rear suspension. Smart, good approach. You can see the three-wheel get up there. Is that the fastest line? What are your thoughts like in, in regards to the attitude of the truck? Going for that three-wheel, it looks cool, but is it the fastest line? I feel like you need more traction. Yeah, it just depends on how the trucks are set up. I mean. All these trucks are set up however the crew wants them to be for the driver. So it looks like Robbie and Max both have the same style. These changes should be coming to iPhones and iPads this fall. Today, it's all part of the new software off, update, so iOS 16. But I definitely agree, Robbie. Uh, this is the most talked too, right? about. Well, sure. I mean, it, you know, it really just depends on what the driver wants. This is going to be the biggest area right here. When they drop down the bus stop, hit this back straightaway and hit this jump. This turn coming into the infield is where they've had a lot of problems. So Cletus just has to continue to run his line in his race and just try to stay out of contact. He's, I feel like he's getting wide right now. You can see him kind of throw his, throw his elbows out, getting a little wide, throwing up the block, especially on Stout. I think Stout's kind of calculating. Sometimes it's not the best place to be, especially with the format of 555 about the re-rack, right? So the mandatory yellow, the caution, bunch them up and re-rack them. I, I, again, I really love the format, but I think Stout is calculating the kill for sure. lack of a better term. Yeah, because if you're up in there rubbing and racing, I mean, that's great. But if you blow a tire or, you know, you have more damage to your car, well, then you're out of the race. Yep. So at the end of the day, Cletus is just going to run his line as hard as he can. You got Stout right behind him, Mad Max, Robbie Gordon. I mean, that's that's an incredible lineup. Let's talk about this field here. We go. You got Zoe's there at six. We got uh, Matt, Dave Sparks. We got Derek Bieri. Ben Mayer, Fielding Shredder, Dave Diesel, and Bill Hines, who was leading so dominantly yesterday, is in the back of the pack. He's 12 seconds behind our leader. So Cletus McFarland just merely a, a second in front of Stout. We can see that we don't need the clock to tell us that how close he truly is. But uh, I'll tell you what, Stout, I think he's he's buying some time here. He's looking at the line, seeing what's going down, but. Robbie, I think, is as well calculating what his son's doing because he knows him. You know, obviously that's his son. I, I think there's there's some there's some math there's some math being projected this, out here. This is the spot where you got to be careful when you drop down to that bus stop. You can't be sloppy with it. You got to be as clean as possible. And then obviously you're going through the back stretch and hitting that jump right here. Garrett's got to be able to drive through that turn just like he did with confidence. Hit this jump, pull up to the next turn, get ready to rock. And I mean. Mad Max is back there waiting. Robbie Gordon. I mean, it's it's a great race. But once again, Cletus McFarland, your leader right now. You got Robert Stout in second place. You got Mad Max Gordon with uh, Robbie Gordon right behind him. So, sun showing pops. What's up? I mean, that's pretty awesome. I, I think it's great. It, it, so much talent here on the track. We're going to see more talent or lack thereof in the Bristol 1000. <laughs> For sure. I mean, all all the lack thereof talent is up here in the booth. Let's be honest. Man. Yeah, it's normally really just me. Right. Well, those that can't do lack teach. Of talent. Well, no, those that can't do <laughs> teach, they say, right? That's For a, sure. It's a, it's a funny adage. I get it. It's a joke. I'm not really shade the teachers, obviously. But those that can't teach, just talk about it. Hey, how's it going? I'm Jared Deanda. Still a piece of garbage. Hey, big shout out to my brother. Jared Deanda is always up here willing to help out the scrub Nick Savage because oh, this on, is this, this is, is a, a special thing, and I'm thankful to be up here with the man himself. Oh, so, so much. I appreciate For sure, you know the deal, brother. But Cletus is still leading right now, and you got Robert Stout in second position, Mad Max in third, Robbie yeah. Gordon's a little bit back. Let's talk about how they're about to eclipse 10 laps, and we will get a mandatory caution. And it should be going down 
shortly. I'm taking a look over my shoulder to see when that mandatory caution is coming out. So they'll, you know, clip that 10 laps. They'll re-rack them. This has been kind of, oof, you know, far from the course. This is, we haven't seen, you know, any position change. Ooh, they just get a little a loose. Get right a little there. loose. You got to think about the tires, attrition, keeping the car together, keeping your mental game tight. You got to kind of, you know, wait, 17 laps? How did it go? Two laps more. We're seeing 10 or 17. So we were feeling calm. Okay. Percent. Oh, here we go. Looks like Robert Stout is looking like he's going to try to swoop in low on that inside here we line. Go. Here we go. So Cletus, Stout, Mad Max, and Robbie Gordon, one, two, three, four, and there is the yellow flag. We will re-rack them. Bunch them up. Rack them and stack them, baby. That's the way it goes. Like rack I said, back of track. Rack them, stack them, smack them. You got Cletus McFarland out there leading this race, and you got Robert Stout in second, Mad Max, and then you got Robbie Gordon right there with him. I mean, when you're able to do five, 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 it's like you said, how much tire do they have? I, I don't know how much fuel these trucks even take. You know, like I said, it's the first race that I've announced for these. Look at Robbie's moving the jump with his truck. <laughs> Oh, Robbie, I love you, man. You're you're an absolute one of a kind. That's Robbie. So again, Robbie Gordon, this is a brainchild of him. Many moons ago, I announced the first season of Stadium Super Trucks. We saw the likes of Arizona Cardinal Stadium. We went to Qualcomm, formerly Jack Murphy. Um, but these trucks have been developed and just the evolution of what's going on in Stadium Super Trucks. They've seen the likes of, you know, overseas, down under. Uh, they've seen, you know, Goodwood Festival Speed. They've seen you know, Long Beach Grand Prix, St. Pete. They've seen many different race courses, but they've never seen Bristol. So guess what? You're tuning in or you're here in the building. How are we doing up there, Bristol? Make some noise for our stadium super trucks. Are you loving stuff or what? Make some noise. For sure. They are counting the caution laps. So even though they do go around with that yellow, they are counting those laps. For sure. Yeah, Robbie Gordon, man, he's a great guy. I met him yesterday before I could even uh, finish my name. His hand was out there ready just to shake it. Robbie Gordon, how you doing? Robbie Gordon. Oh, he's he's just excited, so he's a big he's, shout out to him for sure. He's, he's one of us. I always like to say, like, he's one of he's a He's a pirate. You know, he's, he's a good dude. I love the livery, B BTW, the, the fun haver, Cletus McFarland. Shout out to our boy Vaughn Gittin Jr. He's out there racing at, uh, at Crandon. Um, you know, Crandon is an iconic track. It's basically the the dirt Talladega. It's it's just this iconic. Track. It's the dirt Bristol. You know, it's a it's an iconic track in the off road world. Um, and just want to give him a shout out, my boy. For sure, man. He's a fun he's haver, haver for sure. Uh, fun haver. Shout out to Cody. I know you picked up some fun haver gear yourself. So here we go. Let's go. This is for the checkered flag. Five laps for glory. Who's gonna win? The second. Oh, we're losing body parts there. Robert Stout lost his front fender off that truck. Look at that. The whole front oh, looks yeah. like it's about half uh, ripped off. He needs to go to Parker Mitchell for uh, that uh, teeth and turbos. Man. The front tooth damage right there. We definitely can fix that. Cletus out there airing it out, followed up by Robert Stout in your second position. This then you got it. Mad Max in third. Robbie Gordon hot. Look at that contact. The Diesel Brothers oh, the hot diesel and heavy. Bros. Dave Sparks. Oh, look at Bill Hines. He moved from 12 to, it looks like, what was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th place. So Bill Hines getting oh, after it. For sure. Look at that. Cletus out there making a little clinic of that uh, infield run. And you got something to prove. Robert Stout right behind him. Mad Max. Oh, what can oh, Mad Max do here on this back straight, hitting this jump, right? Followed up by his dad, Robbie Gordon, the man, the myth, the legend. I think Mad Max is going to get a little calculated here, but Cletus is uh, feeling spirited. I, I, I feel like he has something to prove. prove excuse me. And... Uh, you know, Jimmy, Jack said Jimmy got both bald eagles last night. He got the big wins. Cletus wants, wants a trophy. For wants, sure. Even, even though he's curated this thing, it doesn't matter. You want to win. The biggest the biggest pinch points for me. Oh, who's that? that? Oh, is that? Uh, is that that's yeah, Diesel that's Dave, Dave, Sparks. Dave Sparks. That is Dave Sparks. Wow. That's unfortunate there. Look, look at that right there. Robert Stout trying to make a pass going through oh, the infield. Shuts the door. Can't on get him. it done. Cletus McFarland, still your leader in the stadium super trucks. Here at Bristol Motorsport Speedway, baby. Bristol Motor Speedway. I keep saying motorsports. <laughs> you know, I've only read it down 30 times, but I'll get it one of these days. This is the spot right here that I'm talking about where they're dropping down into the chicane, the bus stop area. They got to be very technical coming out, and they're coming across that back straight, hitting the ramp, and then this is the big pinch point right here. 
Cletus has to be very clean dropping down and does not get too loose to where Robert Stout can make a pass. Dave Smart getting new tires, but I don't think that'll help him because the race is practically over. Stout going on the outside. He's going to dive in. He's going to get aggressive. Are we going to see an exchange of oh. fire glass? And no, he keeps it clean. But I'll tell you what, that's a good position. Mad Max chomping at the bit. There in third. Look at how much air. He almost got in the back. He almost got in the bed. <laughs> Most of Robert the tailgate Stout. that thing. Yeah, uh, hey. You want to, uh, all right, Josh. Look at Cletus taking oh, a little wide. Stout. Stout he trying to make the, the door pass. For Stout. Ooh. Oh, Cletus exchanging. Here we go. What are we going to do? Now drop it in two. We talked about that. That quick little turn into the left. Hard left. Here we go. What's going to do? There's that bus stop turn. Oh, a lot of Stout contact. Stout shoves him. We are in the mosh pit. Woodstock 99 happening now, right now in Bristol. Stout shuts the door on Cletus McFarland. Cletus fights back. Look at Mad Max. Mad Max, Mad Max trying to make a pass. To jump. Mad Max is forced to go on the outside. Watch Mad Max. I feel like he's going to dive in on this hairpin, and here we go. Look at nope, Cletus not for able to edge off. Cletus does edge Stout. him off. Really good racing right now. Three laps to go. Unbelievable. Robert Stout just took position over Cletus. Cletus got it back through the infield. Mad Max missed the jump, had to hang back. Cletus still your leader right now in the stadium super trucks. That, the, the, so he did miss a jump by design. Like, that, that you know, that was fair. Like, yeah. you know, when you're going to go for jump, maybe two wheels. You, you, you know, hey, it's racing. Hey, yeah, there's nowhere he could go. He had to no. he had to miss the jump. No big deal. Mad Max right there ready to take this race. But Cletus McFarland out there putting on an absolute show, able to get it back from Stout. We'll see what they oh, can do coming to the infield. Max pushing Stout a little bit there. Kind of give him a little nudge. Says, you know, a little ludicrous move. Get out the way. Boy, get out the way. <laughs> they're, they're pushing. This is the spot right here. Can Cletus hold off Robert Stout? the number two position followed up by Mad Max. I'll tell you what, Robert Stout has been front row at the clinic that is Cletus McFarland Stadium Super Trucks right now. He did challenge him there about a half, about a half lap, maybe a quarter lap even. This is what this is what Cletus doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to give him that inside inside line. It looked like he was able to take it back once Robert got in front of him. But Cletus out front right now coming across that back straight going to hit this jump. This turn right here is going to be huge for Cletus McFarland. All right, let's see what we got here. Here we go, Cletus. Oh, look at that, Robert. Cletus oh, went wide. Oh, Robert no. Stout takes Open. the lead. There it is, that one mistake to rule them all. Lord of the Rings, and guess what? Robert Stout is now leading Mad Max into second, and Cletus McFarland bounces back to third, just like that, with just about a lap left to go. We are looking here, and the checkered flag is out. Stout looks like he's going to get the win. Mad Max in second. Cleese McFarland, who led the whole race, gets third. Robbie Gordon and Gavin Harlan, and then we got the 13-year-old Ben Mayer gets that spot. That's what I was wow. saying. That, that always going to come down to that turn. Congrats to Robert Stout. Unbelievable. Cleese I mean, took it a little too wide. I mean, th that's that's racing. You know, sure. it's just it's it's a game of tense. There we go. Celebratory Bernie's by Robert Stout, the 28 Continental Tire Stadium Super Truck. Mad Max gets second. Cletus McFarlane, the Fun Haver Truck, gets third. Robbie Gordon, you know, this is this is his whole concept. Stadium Super Truck, I think, is a great addition to the overall weekend. Robert Stout climbs the ramp. Congratulations to Robert Stout. What a cool. Damn, that was a good time. That was crazy. He, that was good. He had it for a second. Cletus took it back. Cletus took too wide of a turn. I mean, that's it right there. You can't let him get that inside, and that's what happened. He uh -huh. just took it too wide, couldn't recover, took the victory. Great race. Big shout out to Robbie Gordon bringing the trucks out. Yep. He competed last night in the uh, burnout competition in the stadium super loose. truck. Keep it in the box. Keep it in the box, kids. So this is where they got on the tussle, that bus stop. Look at Stout. That's where he went for the pass, but guess what? Cletus held him off. But it was the turn, the peninsula, that 180, the hairpin, and ended up Burnham. Not even there. Watch. Oh, that's what that's where it was. They were really no, no, he got it back there. But this is where he lost it. Too wide. Stout goes in tight. Ooh. Almost like he lost steering or something. That was that was uncharacteristic for Cletus. Something happened there, but you know what? Shout out to Stout for getting the victory. Mad Max right behind him. Great race out there. What do you think, Bristol? Let's hear it for the guys out there. Spence, down to you, buddy. Give it up for Cletus McFarland in the stadium, Super Drugs.
Dude, I used up all my brakes. I used up all my brakes. I got into that corner and I just couldn't stop the dang thing. I was like, no! What you guys think of Stadium Super Trucks? Oh my gosh. Oh man. All right, so who's our winner? Stout? Stout, how do you feel, brother? You were on me the whole race. You had the consistency, man. That was a heck of a race, man. We just put on a pretty good show right there. I like that. I'll do more of that. Dude, that was, hey, listen. Can we give it up for this man for not ramming me? Right? <laughs> right? Good racing. He did not run me over. He just waited for me to make a mistake. He's like, I know that giraffe's going to mess up eventually. And then I did. Let's hear it for Stout. Come on. All right, second place is Max. Let's hear it for Max Gordon, number two today. You did good out there, brother. They, you guys were on me and then uh, waited for me to make a mistake. I saw them both go by. I'm like, son of a biscuit. Robbie, how'd you end up, buddy? I got fourth for the weekend. Um, you know, I guess we could probably explain to everybody how it goes. I got Gavin Harlan down here as well. And I believe the two of us tied for the weekend. And so it turns into second moto who's ahead. So I got the weekend. Gavin was second. And I don't know if it's Stout or Max for third. Um, but good, great, great event. Thank you. Hell yeah. Let's hear it for Stadium Super Trucks, guys. Come on. You guys think if we come back next year, we're going to need the trucks back? If we bring them back, are you going to tell your friends the best race you've ever seen? Thank you. And it, it is because of you guys. Honestly, you fans make us do what we do. We push things to the limit. I was racing NASCAR for a long time. I thought it got a little boring. I had to spice it up a little bit, and we made Stadium Super Truck. What do you guys think of that? Hey, number three for Dale, brother. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to pull these trucks off, and it is time for the Bristol 1000 qualifying. All right, y'all hang out. We're going to start up qualifying here in, in a minute. We'll play some music and hang out, but, man, these stadium trucks were a lot of fun. Thank you guys for coming. Hang out. We'll be starting up the racing in just a few minutes. Thank you so much, Cleese McFarland, Spicy Spence. Uh, sp uh, excuse me. Cleese McFarland didn't bring it up. Mad Max took him out yesterday with a pop tire. He didn't bring it up to the 14-year-old. I, I don't think it, that, was, that was kind of bullying. <laughs> he might have got canceled there. Uh, all joking aside, really great racing. Stadium Super Trucks. Again, Robbie talked about, oh, well, I, I got the weekend. Gavin Harlan did this, did, did all that. Uh, regardless, amazing racing. So thank you so much. And uh, you know what? This is history in the making. Stadium Super Trucks. Burnout competition. We had Open. We had Pro. We had Burnout Rivals. Stadium Super Trucks back to back and the Bristol 1000 100 laps for glory Crown Vicks former cop cars former we don't know the history of them all we know is they have roll cages they have nitrous and guess what Nick Savage myself Jared Deanna and our man down there on the ground Spicy Spence is spicing things up here at Bristol Motor Speedway Spence what's going on buddy Man, we are down here at the main uh, straightaway jump, and we are ready to do the awards ceremony for the weekend and Stadium Super Trucks. One last time, let's make some noise for all the competitors that were competing today in Stadium Super Trucks. What an outstanding weekend. So, Robbie, in third place for the weekend, we're wait we are tallying it up right now. Okay, but we do know who's first place for the weekend. Our very own Robbie Gordon. You guys know that saying, you always don't have to be fastest to win the weekend. So um, good, good weekend for us. Great to be here at Bristol. I want to thank uh, everybody from Bristol Motor Speedway for letting us come here and get wild on the racetrack. I want to thank all you fans. Great race this weekend. Thank you. Uh-oh. Oh, it wouldn't be a Cletus of Cars without a little bit of point controversy. What do you guys think? He's like, we may have a point conundrum. Wow. Check this out. So. 
basically we're trying to get the total on the point system i'm new to stadium super trucks but it looks like when there is a tie it does go to qualifying times to actually determine who would get the win for the weekend so for these guys that do it all the time it actually is very competitive so there's a point series the same way we have developed with all of the Cleveson Cars events, the Bristol Thousand, the Freedom 500, we are accumulating points because that we want to be able to say at the end of a season, like Robbie said, you don't have to be the fastest to win the weekend. You don't always have to win first place in order to win a series. So we definitely want to see those consistent drivers be rewarded. So this is very important. They're literally bickering right now about it. This is actually getting spicy down here. Um, any of the drivers that are qualifying for the Bristol 1000, please make it to your vehicles now. The time for you to get ready for qualifying is now, so make your way down there. I hope you guys are having an amazing time at home, live on the pay-per-view. Let's get some noise for everybody tuning in on pay-per-view. Are you guys having a good time here in Bristol? Awesome. So. We're going to get these stadium super trucks cleared. We are going to get all the drivers ready for the Bristol 1000. This is the main event of the weekend. We have been waiting and prepping weeks after weeks. Endless days and nights have been spent getting the cars dialed and right. And I'm very excited. We got Type S cameras in every single one of the vehicles. Thank you to them being a huge sponsor this weekend. Jared, I'm gonna toss it back up to you for a moment, and then when I get an official readout for this award presentation, I'm gonna have you send it back to me. Thank you so much. Again, Spicy Spence getting down there on the ground. Savage, like he said, this it wouldn't be a Cletus event if there wasn't some c controversy. <laughs> you know, controversy is unfolding. But uh, Bristol 1000, what are your expectations? Because again, 100 laps, this is the fast, it says it right over there world's fastest half mile we're on the colossus the screen is by this is super again meta we're bringing the internet to life we are bringing you some crown bits what are your expectations well robbie gordon said it down there he used to drive for nascar definitely so drove here so. a lot of times and he said he's gonna spice things up and he went and did his own thing but he's yeah. back here at bristol I don't know if he's ever driven one of these Crown Vicks before, but the dude can drive. Yeah. So you got Robbie Gordon. That's definitely going to be a top competitor. Nick Seuss, and look big at time this. guy for Sorry sure. Sorry to uh -oh. cut you off. There it is. Down to you, Spence. I'm seeing an exchange here. Robbie, you're in second. Gavin Harlan third and Robert Stout on top. Is that the podium for today or the weekend? Spence, down to you. All right. So in third place, put your hands together for Gavin. Awesome, and then in second place, we got the man, Robbie Gordon. And then get those feet stomping. Let's make some noise for our very first Cletus and Cars champion. Number one, first place, Stout. Outstanding performance, send them off. The stadium super trucks have done their thing, kept you entertained. And do you guys want to see them back here again? Let's do it, Jared, my man, back up 